Hello, welcome everyone here. This is the module number 10 and the title of this module is Standard Costing. Standard Costing means it is a some specific norms and target. It means that the Standard Costing has been designed in the form of maybe in a historical cost, predetermined cost and estimated cost. So it gives a reference point and benchmark model yardstick for the comparison. Ultimately, the standard costing is based on a comparison between the different part of uh, two costing values. Standard cost, a part of cost accounting system whereby standard cost is incorporated directly and formally into the manufacturing accounts. It means that the standard costing is majorly contributed for the part of a manufacturing concern. Why it is concerned with the manufacturing? Because of the standard costing has been assumed on the basis of historical cost and predetermined cost. And for that, it was taking a decision for a certain amount of a decision making for the amount of a material cost and for a labor cost. This is what the primary case is, maybe for overheads also, but in the case of an important part of a decision making, two major variables that is one is material and the other one is a labor cost. That is why it is divided into two major parts and one is an historical cost and otherwise it is in the second part of historical cost and predetermined cost. So that these are the two important parts of a uh, standard costing. Historical cost means the actual cost or a past cost and the historical costing is a system in which actual cost incurred in the past are determined. So that means the whatever the cost has been incurred in the past that is your historical cost and the system was applied for the uh, incurred of historical cost. It is called historical costing. Historical costs have some limitations. One, such costs are obtained too late and cannot be used for price quotations. Historical costs do not serve the object of cost control. That means the cost cannot be exactly used for the cost control. For the cost has already has been incurred before the cost records are available for the management control. Historical costs do not provide any benchmark against which efficiency can be measured. So this is what the part of historical cost. Standard costing is a technique which uses a standard cost for revenues for the purpose of control through the variance analysis. In that sense, the standard costing major uses is related to variance analysis. Here, standards are performance expectation. It means the standard has been designed by the management or the level of management and on the basis of that levels that the some amount of performance appraisal has been evaluated by the management on the basis of the actual performance done by the organization. So standard costing aims at eliminating waste and increasing efficiency in operation through setting up certain standards for the production cost and the production performance. That means the need to identify controlling of wastage and increase the operational efficiency for measuring the part of a production cost and as well as the production performance. In short, standard costing is a control device and not a separate method of the different type of product costing. So the word standard means norm and criterion. So that is a very much important for the meaning of a standard cost. The standard cost is thus a criterion cost which may be used as a yardstick to measure the efficiency with which actual cost has been incurred. So in that case 
it is a part of an evolution it is a part of a technique it is a part of a tool where the amount of yardstick to be evaluated the position of an actual cost has been incurred in the business let's move uh, explanation one by one the points here let's start with the standard cost standard cost is a figure which represent an amount that can be taken as a typical of a cost an article or other cost factor it means that it's a simple a value of uh, the figure or value of the particular cost which represents the any particular item or a particular product standard cost is a predetermined calculation of the presumed cost under the specified condition it is a build up from an assessment of a value of cost elements so that means the amount of cost has been determined on the basis of a value of elements now if you want to understand the how this particular transaction has been uh, moving for the standard costing so that means it looks like in this way the money is generated in the some way then the comes from the different transaction when it comes in its inflow and outflow through this chart i want to tell you that the amount of cost has been incurred in flow of the particular transactions which are converted into a certain amount of output and then it goes out and again it's generated in the part of a liquidity the standard cost is a predetermined cost which is calculated from management standard of efficient operation and relevant necessary expenditure so this is what all about the standard cost definition St another definition which was given by brown that is the standard cost is a predetermined cost which determines what each product or services and could be cost under given circumstances here another definition which was actually considered for standard costing it is given by lorenz a standard costing system is a method of cost accounting in which the standard costs are used that means the standard costing is a system it's a method it's a technique where the standard cost has been used in recording certain transaction and the actual cost are compared with the standard cost here the cost is going to compare which cost are going to compare the actual cost is going to compare with the standard cost to learn the amount and reason for the variations from the standard so that means the ultimately the standard cost is the difference between the actual cost and the standard cost and the technique which are used to identify the variances or the variations that technique called standard costing so the standard costing is all about a technique to determine the differences and the variations between the standard cost and actual cost another definition is given by joseph standard costing involves the preparation of cost based on predetermined standards and continuous comparisons of actual with them for the specific purpose of guidance and control this is the definition for standard costing let's move to another important topic that is historical costing historical costing is based on historical cost so the term historical cost is known as actual cost the cost determined in past for the specific task the meaning of this cost suggests the actual cost of product which have been incurred in the production the experts maintain that the production of products the expenses like material labor overheads etc should be paid first and then this should be recorded in the definitely task so this the total expenses are called the total cost or past cost or the cost incurred for the product and that is historical cost now see the concept of standard cost and standard costing the concept of standard 
cost and standard costing is based on a predetermined cost. So that means the standard cost is very clear that it is on the basis of a predetermined cost. In the case of predetermined cost, I just want to tell you it's based on elements of cost. Elements of cost are three. One is a material, then the labor and the third is overheads. These are actually basic things for determinations on the basis of a historical cost and many other factors. That means it is not only basis of the certain principles but it is based on uh, there are many factors affecting to move and change elements of cost. These factors are cautiously studied before determining of a standards. That means the, when you are fix your standards, when you are um, uh, target your standards, you need to observe and study properly how the standard can be affected when you are going to use this technique. It is possible that the standard cost decided by the manager could be ideal, normal or expected. But standard costs are not simple average but they are it's concerned with due care after a careful study and observations of products and activity in the past and the present situation. So that's why the standard costing is very much concerned. Now see after the standard cost we are going to observe the standard costing. Standard costing is a perfect system of controlling the cost and measuring the efficiency and its development. Efficiency and development for the organization, maybe department, maybe particular block or maybe observation or unit task. It is a technique of cost reduction and cost control. Ultimately, the standard costing technique is for reduction of the cost and the cost controlling. It helps to provide a valuable guidance in several management functions such as formulating policies, determining the price level, controlling how to control the cost structures, how the best price of material can be hired in the business. This is the observations and these are the managerial functions where the standard costing helps to take a decision. The essence of standard costing is to set objectives and targets to achieve them to or compare the actual cost with these targets. So this is actually used to ascertain the standard cost under the each elements of cost like a material, labor, overhead. It can eliminate all kinds of vestiges. Now moving uh, to the next point that is advantages of the standard costing. There are certain advantages for standard costing but the few advantages are very much helpful to understand the technique and tools where you can apply it in a right manner to get the best results out of it. So first is systematic planning, proper planning. It helps to apply the principle of management by exception. That is the management need not worry about the those activities which proceed in at random plans it is operated in a other way if it is only on the issues of exception that they have to concentrate so that means if it is planned properly systematically activities has been designed properly then you would be getting good results out of it second is efficient cost control Standard costing is a tool for the management to gain reduction in the cost and cost control. Under this technique, differences are analyzed and responsibilities are determined. Next is motivational factor. Labor efficiency. Now see, the motivational factor would be applied on HR. So